A lot of people, when, when, I, when I say, oh, I'm going to talk to Tony Lutzak, oh, uh, yeah, what's his idea? I say, oh, he likes the arms first swing. And they go, what? So when you, when you see a person that is, that, you know, that is a long you know, golf lifer, and that, you, that they hear that you like the arms first swing, and there's, they'll say, the arms don't go first. Exactly. What does that mean? Yeah. So it, how, do you, how would you explain that to somebody like that? Th this has been 25 years of discussion <laughs> of, of, you, yeah. <laughs> of me yeah. debating this point. Because we can't see it, we don't believe it. Yeah. Because kinematics and technology has measured all this stuff, but we got to be able to look to see what happens inside the head, mm -hmm. inside the body. That's the reason why I'm using EMG to measure the muscle activation. Yeah. We've actually started to look at EEG. E EMG is the electronic stuff well, that your brain No, that's going to be EEG. Oh, EEG. Is EMG the is going to be the muscle. Okay, yeah. So electromyography. I'm going to get a little scientific that's on fine. you because I think this is where, where people need to clear up. It is called anticipatory synergetic activation. Okay. And so it's like how the muscles are actually firing in anticipation for movement. Ah. Uh. That is really, if you know, if you watch this channel, that is like almost the secret to golf. I think. That is the secret to yeah, golf. Yeah, yeah. You know, and so, so that's what we're looking at is our basis for controlling the segments. Mm -hmm. we, we agree with some of the kinematic links. We agree with proximal distal. That happened. But what ties it all together? Well, that is muscle activation. Yes, muscle activation. And in order yeah. to coordinate that, we have to make it move. Yeah. I know that I was watching the Olympics a couple years ago. And uh, I was watching Michael Phelps uh, do his thing. And he was on, on the blocks. And I know that those guys, when you talk about anticipation of, so they're on the blocks and he's like this, uh, about to go into the water, right? Yep. So I was trying that off the blocks at, at our pool in Long Beach. And uh, no matter what I did, I just, all I wanted to do was go here and jump in the water. But no matter what I did, I couldn't stop myself from ready, set, and going lower and then jumping. Right. You know, and I just wanted to be like a cat and go straight for it. But that anticipation somewhere in my body of that happening made me squat even lower each time and go. And by then, you know, you would have lost three, five tenths of a second. And, yeah. And there's the race. Upon the signal to go, he'll spring forward with his arms. Go. When you're telling your brain arms first, this is going to say, oh, you want arms first? Then I'm going to do this first. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, yeah. so there's, there's, there's this coordination, the synergy that happens with the muscles. In yeah. order to make the, the process simple, if we take a look at what the body can do and the, the millions of neurons and, and the millions of muscle fibers, yeah. how does the mind coordinate all that? Mm -hmm. Well, it can't do it single like a computer where it would be single code each time. Yeah. It's got to kind of group them together. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're doing. So yeah. you learned how to throw a ball few years ago yeah. when you were playing yeah, as a little kid, five mm -hmm. years yeah. old, throwing mm -hmm. a ball. You develop those patterns. All yeah. I'm doing is using those patterns and applying it to an underhand motion yeah. instead of to an overhand motion. Cool. So that's part of the synergy. So that's the reason why the flamingo drill, feet together drill, hitting some irons off a tee one-handed. Those are different techniques and strategies to help develop a feel. Yeah. And like I said, what you develop is a feel. I would just go with that. Yes. You know, because I yeah. can't feel what you feel, mm -hmm. but yeah. I can through some of this technique we're researching, yeah. see what's happening and what's not happening. Yep. Okay, so now let's talk about the person who might overcook it. So uh, uh, JR Blake from KPMG is asking, how to stop the arms and hands from running away from the body on the downswing? Is that even possible? No. Okay. That that that's that's a miss. Mm -hmm illustration or misinterpretation of what's going on. So right. here's what, and I see this all the time with instructors saying, hey, you're just casting the club. Yeah, well, they're running away from, yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. No, what it is, is with this momentum with the body, if I do that, my arms and club go that way. Yeah. So it's, it's the arms responding to an early body rotation yeah. or an early body movement. If I say take, the, and, and I've seen you do this on, on the show, which is great, is you're throwing that ball down, your mm -hmm. arms don't go. You, you th you're, because your yep. intent and all that is there, that, that, that's arm speed. Yeah. So it's more of, it's lack of using the arms that causes the body to take over, mm -hmm. which throws the arms out. They're confusing, saying that their arms are running out, they're confusing body rotation as the arms going out. Exactly. So they're really rotating the body open there, and, and it looks like, from a 2D angle of the camera, it looks like you've done this. Yeah. Yeah. 
So, so That's what you'll end up feeling with all your miss hits is, is the body gets quick and then you try to save it with your hands. So everyone says, oh, you're using too much arms and, and, and hands. And it's like, well, it's because you're using them at the wrong time. If you use the arms first and then the body and everything at the bottom, you won't yeah. have that feeling. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. There are hours of more footage with Tony coming out on the channel. And don't forget to order The Source of Power. It's on pre-order right now where Tony and I have a long discussion about how to access this hidden power. It's included in the Source of Power documentary, Be Better Golf documentary that's coming out soon. It's available for pre-order right now. The link for it is in the description below. You really wanna get that now because you get access to early footage and you also save something by doing that. There's an amazing vlog coming up as well with Tony from Old Waverly, so you'll want to see that. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. Love that, Tony.